For those of you that also keep up on my rogue leveling series, which is not really leveling anymore, but just end game, some end game legion stuff and BFA pre patch recently, uh, I realized I forgot to put the old soldier cinematic at the beginning of that video uh, because I did watch it and I did record my reaction to it, which I don't think my reactions are that entertaining, but people seem to enjoy them. So I included it on there, uh, but. I was going to include it on there, but I forgot to, and the reason why is because every now and then um, I have a one terabyte drive I use in my storage for my recordings, and each recording is between, let's say, 18 and 25 gigabytes, roughly. About once a month, I clear them all out because I need to make more space, and I don't really have reason to reserve them or hold them elsewhere. And in doing so, when you select a lot of it, uh, large files in Windows and you delete them, and let's say it's 500 gigabytes of data, Windows isn't necessarily... Oh, I got the uh, cold on here now. Nice. My, maybe my warm sweep, maybe my pattern of sweeping left and right is working. Um, Windows doesn't give you the option to like leave stuff in the recycle bin. It'll actually just ask you if you want to permanently delete stuff because it's so much space being taken up in the recycle bin. Uh, cold, let's go back to the north. So cold, okay, so maybe it's to the west more. Uh, anyway, I deleted it on accident, is a long story short. I, I forgot what video I was deleting when I grabbed them all, and I deleted my reaction video to the Old Soldier cinematic. Um, a really good cinematic, so I'll discuss it here briefly. By the way, for those that aren't aware, we are doing the Seeking the Soul Stones quest for the Green Fire Warlock quest chain right now, and I am trying to find the Blade's Edge fragment and then watch the memory and apparently I'm fairly close but not quite there. I lost the warm, I don't know where it went. I feel like this is too far south. Uh, so anyway, Old Soldier, really fun cinematic. I feel like that kind of redeems the horde a little bit, humanizes them in some capacity. Um, instead of making them seem like it didn't seem right. Instead of making them seem like totally evil baddies, um, we see there is some good to them, uh, and some or some disagreements among the ranks. Okay, we're warm. I feel like it's right over here. Like this looks like kind of like looking down here. This kind of looks like it makes sense, but I don't know what this area is. Um. Oh, hot. Nice. There, oh, there it is. Sweet. Okay, I see it. They all look the exact same, pretty much. It's probably going to be a little visual audio thing here. I uh, tire of your evasive babble, Doom Guard. Explain to me why you and your kind are drawn to sacrificial magics. My contract is to fight for you, not to reveal the Legion's secrets, mortal. Do not attempt to deceive me, demon. I might have done this out of order. Maybe we should have done this one second. Your kind far predates Sir Garrus's betrayal. <laughs> my Void Walker. Hey, no, never mind. Not my Void Walker. It's, okay, got it. <laughs> okay. It's like my Void Walker is getting into this? The Void Walker's own kind don't care about their origins. Interesting. It's kind of a translucent. The wings are too. It's cool. We're the Titan's hounds, forever enslaved to police the use of arcane magic. Man, Doom Guards have been enslaved forever. Hmm. That Doom Guard's gonna die. Why does Conrathod want that? I don't know if I... I mean, they're, they're all trying to... The different groups of warlocks are not trying to learn more and more things. But uh, I don't know if I understand exactly why he cares about the origin of the Doom Guards. Uh, we do need to get from here down to Shadowmoon, right? Um, 
So I think I might try to take this flight path if I can. Or at least grab the flight path. I don't think I have it yet, so it might be worth at least picking it up. Um, so yeah, so the old soldier was a great trailer. Um, it basically was about... Uh, I mean... So I went into it without spoiling it for myself. I heard it was good. I heard it redeemed the horde. Um, let's see, is this flight path worth taking? Six minutes? Um, where's that? Wild Hammer Stronghold? Alright, let's race it. Let's see where the timer is. Okay, so 11 minutes. Almost 12 minutes. We should be at about 12 minutes. We should. We would beat it there, essentially. Um, I don't know if it's faster or not. We'll find out. I'm just going to fly straight there and we'll see. I do have 280 speed flying. If I had 310, it might, might be a better chance of beating it. Um, so we'll fly down there and see. Um, so it's mainly about Sarfang and a troll shaman that hang out with him. And a troll shaman that, that hang out with him, yeah. Hangs out with him, yeah. Anyway, so the troll shaman, I think it's a shaman anyway. It seemed like it. he basically pulled back Sarfang from sacrificing himself. And at the time I watched the video, before playing the Legion BFA the last week of the pre-patch, I now understand that that was... I think it was outside of Undercity, basically, or Lord Iran, or whatever. Uh, and Sarfang was going out there to basically sacrifice himself to the, to the oncoming Alliance attack. And the troll, who I've since read about, and I, he has a name, but I forget what it was. Someone on one of the Blizzard developers on Twitter, I think, it told us his name. Um, but apparently, the WoW community calls him Zappy Boy. Um, anyway, that guy kind of pulled him back and told him not to sacrifice himself, which is great. And Sarfang is certainly, in my mind, I've learned more about Sarfang in the last two weeks than I did in the previous 14, almost years of WoW's existence. Um, I knew he always hung out in Orgrimmar, and I think he turned in a quest to him. He might have been the person who turned in... There was some quest he turned into, I don't remember what it was, but there was, I think there was something he turned into him. Um, it wasn't the Anixia or Nefarian head quest, I don't think. I think he turned those into Thrall himself. But anyway, it was great cinematics, really cool. Um, also interesting, on that video, I, although I didn't include the Zap, the Zap, wait, I didn't include the Old Soldier um, cinematic. Uh, we also learned about his son, that's what I, I just remembered that now. We learned about Sarfang's son um, a little bit. Um, so, what Shadow Moon Valley quest do I have? Oh, different Shadow Moon Valley, right. I was like, what? How do I have all these quests for, for um, Outland? I don't. It's for Draenor. It'd be kind of cool if you could complete them here in some capacity, but that is certainly not the case. Ooh. Excuse me. So, another interesting thing. In that Rogue video, for the first time ever, Blizzard placed a copyright claim on one of my YouTube videos. It's not a content strike. So there's a difference. So content strikes are something where you're basically ripping someone off, like you're basically re-uploading their video to try and monetize their content. Um, or, it's, you know, it's copyright protected in some way that they want to, like, literally punish you, essentially, for taking their stuff. Um, it'd be like if I uploaded the entire Mission Impossible movie, that would probably receive a copyright strike, which is like a blat blatant, blat a blatant attempt for me to steal someone else's work. Um, a copyright claim is not it doesn't hurt your account at all on YouTube, but it means that video I can't monetize it. All my videos are monetized. You see ads; those essentially pay for me. If you use an ad blocker, I don't get any money, which is honestly I totally understand. I don't blame you. Um, or if you watch with YouTube Red, I get a little bit of money. To be clear, every one thousand views I get is about a dollar, roughly, very approximate. That's pretty accurate. Um, by the way, I think this was slightly faster. If we get to Wild Hammer by 12 minutes, then we're about same pace, and it looks like we're going to get there within 11 minutes, by the 11 minute mark of my timer down here. So this was maybe 30 seconds to uh, 90 seconds faster. 
So with that said, Blizzard filed two copyright claims on my video um, because, oh, well, I'm already cold. That's cool. Um, I was just racing down here and then I was going to wander around and see. I'm just going to fly here. Honestly, I don't know where it's at, but I assume that it's something with a big demon or warlocky dude. So I'm just heading over here. Um, otherwise, I don't really know much about I don't remember the zone well enough to know of anything. Maybe on the other side over here, but if it's already warm. I doubt it's this far away. It's probably got to be closer than that. All right, I'm going to finish my story. Oh, no, nope, that's not right. Copyright claims because of the in-game cinematics during the BFA pre-patch. The ones basically involving Sylvanas um, or the Alliance. Uh, hot. Oh, 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 oh. Is... I don't know what this thing is, but it kind of looks like it could be here. Um, oh, yeah, it's right there. Perfect. Uh, anyway, so that's the first time it's ever happened. They filed copyright claims on my video because of the, specifically for those parts, there's two cinematics in there um, that are audiovisual content that match up with their stuff. So no monetiz monetization from, those, from that Rogue episode number 80, I think it is. Uh, is it 80? It seems kind of... It's not 80, I don't think. Maybe it is. But anyway, that's fair. I don't think it's 80. I think it's like 30 or 40 or something. This is Rebecca and this is Kenneth. Okay. Gul'dan destroyed this world in his bid for power. You're concerned that it will do the same to Azeroth. Dot dot dot. No, stay back you. You're dangerous. I remain content summoning demons. But you... You toy with becoming one yourself. Huh. There are two sides of the blade of demonology. Ooh. Okay, people threatening from outside, threats from outside, and those that threaten us from within. You just feared a demon, can you do that? It's like normally they're, oh it's undead that are resisting. Hmm. So before we finish this quest, someone gave me a comment on a video recently that said that in Modern WoW, quest items don't always sit in your inventory, which I guess I should have known that by now, but I kind of forgot that. That's good to know. I want to click and read the rest of this. I think we're on this. I think we're here. I don't know if I finished reading it, so I want to read the rest of this before I forget and turn in the next quest and lose this book, possibly. All right, day 35 of Jebecca's journal. Kenrithod returned, looking incredibly grim. Considering his undisciplined technique, it should be no surprise that his research has been less than successful. I'm ready to attempt the binding of a higher order member of the Burning Legion, but I dare not attempt the ritual alone. In fact, perhaps Kenrithod would prove the perfect test subject. Kind of interesting how they both seem to be surprising each other in sort of like sneaky ways to some degree. Uh, remarkable. My first attempt to summon a higher order member of the Legion failed as spectacularly as planned. The Shivara broke free almost instantly after Kenrathod completed the ritual. I expected the frail human to be struck down while I banished the creature. Instead, in the instant that the Shivara's razor sharp blade sliced through the air, Kenrathod's form shifted and the blade's balance as if striking stone. Unlike the typical form of metamorphosis, he did not complete the demonic transformation. Perhaps his research has been successful, more successful than I expected. Got a lot of reading left. The key to binding a wrath guard was ironically reducing the number of runic symbols used in the summoning circle. Wrath guards are highly resistant to charms and compulsions, but readily respond to basic expressions of strength. Kenra thought it was unexpectedly insightful into the conditioning of the legion into the conditioning the legion uses to compel the wrath guard into action. His ability to express his dominance over lesser demons is remarkable if short lived. With great pains, I've been able to inscribe the forms he uses to summon multiple demonic servants at once. Unfortunately, while he can bind two lesser demons indefinitely, I can only do so for a short time. 
We left a few ogre corpses in our wake, but studying the ritual circle of Vim Gaul revealed additional ways of bolstering our power using demonic sacrifices. Um, while the act greatly enrages our demonic servants, fusing their life energy to our own provides a dramatic increase in power. With a little experimentation, I discovered that the more closely linked you are with the demon you sacrifice, the greater the power of the ritual. Kanrathod's ability to restrain his demonic transformation seems to have reached a plateau. Once again, his lack of power disgusts me. Hmm. Things that would be trivial to most warlocks take him an eternity. Day 50. At Kanrathod's insistence, we headed for the Altar of Damnation in Shadowmoon Valley. It's... I think we are here. He seems to be convinced that there's more to the Hand of Gul'dan than just a show of power. I'm not convinced, but at this point, my grimoires are complete. I don't understand his obsession with controlling the flow of demonic power granted by his transformation. While he plays around with the ancient altars, I intend to try my hand at opening a gateway to the contra many more wild imps at once. Day 60. Kenner thought is up to something. To say that I'm concerned about our next move is a dramatic understatement. A ragged note is drawn onto the back cover of the leather journal. I'm convinced there is no chance that we will return from this next adventure alive. Simply no way I can take the risk that my grimoires go unread. For that reason, I've contracted the imps to leave, our f to leave four fragments of my soul stone at the locations listed in my journal. I'm sending this journal to you, my trusted friend. It should the need to locate me arise, you bring the four stones together, find my body, and ensure that my grimoires, grimoires are brought back to Azeroth. Signed to Jebecca. Okay. So next we're going to find her body, possibly. You locate... So... Let's turn in the quest. So, seeking the soul stones. You located all four fragments of the soul stone. Now you just need to fuse them together. You've collected all four fragments of Jebekah's soul stone. You just need to fuse it together now. The soul showed the, the soul stone shards. It's kind of a tongue twister. Seek the signal soul stone shards. All that together. Tongue twister. Okay, so seek the signal quest. Soul stone shards fuse together easily in your hands. Strangely, no soul is stored within the stone. Instead, the stone seems to be drawing power from somewhere in Shadow Moon Valley. Looking east, you feel the power linked beyond the mountains to the very gates of the Black Temple. So if you go to the Black Temple. Which is pretty close. Pulled up my mini Diablo because I feel like he is once again appropriate for a demon focused episode or demonic warlock focused episode. Um, I don't know what other pets I have that are very, that are good, like warlock looking ones. Maybe Bone Shard. Oh, of course, Core Fire Imp. That'd be a great one. That's a like, perfect for a uh, demon focused episode. I probably have more, but that's definitely a good one. The the imp. I think I have a void walker, not like a baby void walker. Maybe not. I have a boatload though. People have sent me so many cool pets. I'm super appreciative of all that. Ziri. Ziri? That's what I'd say. I don't know. Alright, I'm kinda scared to go over here, to be honest. The Black Temple. Okay, seek the signal. Jebekah Soulstone has led you to the Black Temple. The only thing left to do is find a way inside. It's clear that Jebekah Soulstone has led you here to the temple, infiltrating the Black Temple, the name of this quest. Uh, the question remains why. The only remaining option is to head inside and figure out why they were here. Look for Jebekah's mark on the main entrance of the Black Temple. Once inside, speak to Jebekah at the temple summit. This looks like the main entrance, right? Am I wrong? Jebekah's mark. Well, that was easy to find. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make a soul stone. I don't actually. I've been told this is a like. I've been told this quest line is like the original version of the Mage Tower, and which I did. I did on my rogue, my outlaw rogue. Um, but I and I. This makes me think like this is the step that's going to hit that part. And my understanding of what it means to be 
the mage tower is that I'm going to be in some sort of single player fight. Um, okay. Reset Skata. Enter the Sanctuary of Shadows. What are these? Oh, hey. Repair station. Let's take advantage of that. Do I have any junk to sell? I can't sell items to the anvil? How sad. Can I mount? I can. Can I fly? I can't. I need to get here, apparently. Um, this is level 90 elite. It's probably going to see me, right? I mean... Is there a way around this? I don't want to fight the elites if I can... What's that green thing over there? Huh. I'm, I'm, I'm getting like anxious. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. I think I can go around and fight the non-elites maybe over here. Probably a little bit easier. Not that I, I'm not willing to fight the elites, but... Sure. I kind of wish I was not in demonology spec right now, since I'm not as familiar with it, still. Oh, Jesus. Um, that's it. That's fine. That's fine. We got this. Um. Well, he appears to be doing nothing, so that's interesting. Oh, wow. He actually just wrecked. Can't do that while stunned. Apparently being discovered wrecks me. Okay, so I literally... I'm not supposed to kill these things. Okay, I understand now. Well, that was kind of sad. I lost... Okay. So I need to sneak by. How do I sneak through these things? Um, I actually know... Well, there's got to be a really simple way to do this. First of all, I don't even know if that thing would have aggroed me anyway if I just ran by it. But clearly I'm not supposed to fight these guys. I mean, I saw the red marking, but I wasn't totally sure if that was just showing that if I tried to stealth by, they would see me. But clearly... There's something I'm missing here. Or a Is that a quest item? I... Th okay. Well, hey, that thing died now. So I think I can just mosey on through. I will say I have no idea how to get past this, though. That's its own terrifying. Uh... Right? Like, how am I supposed to get through that? If that's where I need to be, I think. Um, can I... How do I get through this? Okay. Let me think about this. I wonder if I can... Oh, I can mount, right? I knew that. Uh, I wonder if I can just run... Up there, if that'll complete that step in the quest. If I just, like, book it. No, that's not going to work. Okay, so what am I doing wrong? They can see through stealth. Are these demons? They're humanoids. Okay, so I can't enslave them. I mean, I can't banish, right? So what am I missing here? Huh. I don't want to take all day just staring at the screen to figure out how to get through this, but there's got to be a way. Part of me kind of wonders what that green thing is there, but I think it's just like a... I saw some over on the front of the building too, and I don't think that actually... Like, I think this is the green thing. I think that's what that is. Maybe I'm wrong. I want to take a look at that just to make sure I'm not supposed to do something with it. I am kind of curious. Can 
Can I get through here without them aggroing? Yeah. The part of me thinks that I need to like get up here and like walk through and sneak by this way. But it doesn't look like I can get up there anyway. Okay. There's some bones here. Maybe on this side? Hmm. That's what I'm wondering, if I need to sneak around rather than through, right? Like, I, I seemingly can't go through the center. But nothing else really looks like something I would sneak through. I'm trying to look off in the distance over here. I'm sure people are just like, you're so missing this obvious thing right now. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, uh, okay. I wonder if it's got a patrol. I want to check this side out real quick. Enter Sanctuary Shadows. I assume that's the Sanctuary Shadows. That's the other thing. I'm not sure if that is. I just assume I don't want to aggro that if I can help it. Because this seems like it'd be perfect, right? If I can just get through this gate. Like, this would be what I need to do is what I'm thinking, but... I'm legitimately not sure what to do. Um, do I have an item on me that I'm missing that I should be looking at? Does Jebecca's journal give us any hints that I'm missing? No, I don't think so. Huh. Do I need to transform somehow? I'm trying to like think through all the things that would be relevant. This anvil is just an anvil. Nothing else appears clickable, but it's very obvious that these guys... Wait, when I attacked this guy, those other soldiers moved over. But why did they do that? Did they come after me, or did they move towards... Hold on a sec. Passive, okay. Um... I'm gonna check the sides here again. Get nothing on that side. Let me look over here first before I go with this plan that I'm about to execute that I'm sure is not gonna work. Alright, that's not gonna work. Um, I gotta get out of this guy's way. So this guy gonna patrol through here in a moment. I also want to... Dismiss that guy. Okay. So watch this. I don't know if this actually is going to work. This thing never attacked me. Got it. That's exactly what I need to do. Right? My only issue being... Okay, so I need to move the guards. That's what I got to do. My imps are going to be annoying on their own. Um... So I need to pull somehow the center guard also, though. Um, how do I do that? Maybe I don't need to pull the center guard. Awesome. That was, I, I was like, how do I get past these? Cool, okay. Okay, find the Council of the Black Harvest Trail. The music's ramping up. Look for your book as Mark on the main entrance. Okay, find the Council of the Black Harvest Trail. The Council, I need to find the Council, okay. Then more guards here, yes. I don't think my Voidwalker put away. I think it helps to have him out of the way for some reason. Having him around makes me feel like um, he's gonna like somehow aggro something, and I don't want him out. The council appear to be directly overhead, so I'm just gonna quickly. I always mention this before. This game has very quite a few Metal Gear Solid <laughs> elements to it. And uh, Metal, Gear, Metal Gear Solid, the original one, is the only one I've ever played of the Metal Gear series. That and the old Nintendo Entertainment System one. And I'm pretty good at that game. So. A comma just 
GG'd me. What did you see, brother? Foolish warlocks, I knew you would try again to ransack our temple. Wait, you're not one of the warlocks that snuck in here before. Why then are you here? I don't know, man. Some vision. Hmm, your name sounds familiar to me. What do you want from the Black Temple? Stay a moment and speak with me, rather than skulk about like a rogue. See, sneaking. King Rin seeks the Black Harvest Council members who trespassed here recently. Superlock, you and your alliance did much to aid my people in freeing the Black Temple of Illidan's grasp. I will help you as a show of mutual trust and repayment of the debt I owe you. Lead the way. Cool. Follow a comma to the Shrine of Lost Souls. Follow me. They both visited the Shrine of Lost Souls and the Temple Summit. I'm gonna pull my staff out. He's faster than me. Oh my gosh. Try and cut him off, see him. Sneaking through. Okay, is he gonna... Okay, these guys are friendly with me now? Why is everyone faster than me? Okay, cool. Well, Kama just free me to move around here without interruption, which is great. Thank you, Okama. Uh, Okama, Okama. I keep saying Okama. Okama. Uh, it's cool seeing Okama. Like, third in Illidan, the fellow works did to the, this holy place. Yeah, and this place does look less holy and more demented right now. Okay, we're almost there. I guess I can see it on the mini-map, too. Reach the shrine. Uh oh. This is where we split up. Uh, within lies the shrine of lost souls. The souls of thousands of my fallen brethren remain within this area. Use caution, there are many traps still active within. Perhaps one of your demon spells will grant you the ability to scout ahead before advancing forward. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> Investigate the shrine of lost souls. Alright, I have Killrog. Let's let's do this. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, very cool. Can I run through this guy? Is he going to eat me? Very, very cool. That's the first time I've ever used the Eye of Killrog. I just kind of want to see how... I'll probably need to recast it several times. I'm certainly not memorizing this route right now. Um, these guys seem like pretty easy kills. Level 90. So I'm a little out-leveled for this, I've been told, slightly. Like a 90 is a good level to do this quest line. I'm 95, so... It's very narrow here. I'll have to be really careful. Okay. That's not that bad. We can totally do that. Um... But that vanishes. Alright, let's let's kill this guy. I think I might still leave my Void Walker and not pull him out. I don't know if I'm being just like overly cautious. Oh yeah. World PvP talents don't work in here, do they? Sad. So the reason I mention this is because I'm a little nervous to uh I'm a little nervous. Um, that the Void Walker is going to somehow aggro this thing. Okay, so I can run basically up to like this corner here safely. Stay to the left here and then hit that corner. Okay, it's nice there's at least a momentary delay before and then hit the corner. I'm running my uh, wide receiver routes here. Alright, it's Eye of Killrog again. I can go straight till this three point here. We gotta kill this guy. Either way, we gotta kill this guy. Oh, he summoned a buddy. Fun. These guys don't fear, right? Because that'd be really, really mean. Let's kill this before he summons any more, for, any more things. Maybe I should have my Void Walker out. To the Void Walker out ASAP. There we go. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Boyd Walker. Oh man. I'm apparently gonna die here anyway. Yeah, I'm apparently I did something wrong here, but I'm I'm dead, so it's okay. Um I'm misunderstanding Oh what? Oh god. Okay, we have to go all the way back from here. Okay, well that's fine. I somehow I guess it's an instance, it makes sense, okay. Um maybe I'm like killing them fast enough. Oh wait, they're friendly now. Okay, good, good. I was like, come on, do I really have to clear the guards again? That's good to know. I knew he said uh, he made he made me friendly with everyone, but I didn't know if that necessarily meant these guys for some reason. Um but I guess I demount probably on this ledge here. Definitely by the time we get to these gates. So Try and jump as far as I can, okay. Um, I need to kill that big guy fast. I need to kill all those faster? It seemed like they were just summoning... I got the impression they were being summoned based purely on... Is there a shortcut through here? We went this way. But it seems like this should be a shortcut. But I think we went through here. Which maybe is a different level, so I don't know if that's going to work if I go through here. Okay, so I need to figure out a way to kill all those guys. I think faster. It seemed like they were based on... I don't know. As I killed one, I felt like another one spawned right away. But at the same time, it seems like they shouldn't... I don't know how to kill them then if they're just summoning themselves. Um, I missed my few... You know, someone mentioned a comment, I agree with this. It doesn't make sense to me why the, like these, it's really, I wish these talents were just tuned better so you could also use them in instances, because now it feels strange that I'm in an instance and I can't use some of my skills. Um, like I'm just not, it's counterintuitive to me. Please tell me the first one I killed has not respawned. It might have? I don't know if that's the first one or not. It might have been a different one. I want to definitely my Void Walker up this time. This is just the random loose mob that we fought earlier. Okay. I want to try the Felguard real quick. What does the Felguard have that would help? Okay. Chases an enemy. Deals damage to all enemies in front of it. Felstrom. It's good for AoE stuff. And then Axe Toss. We can use it to stun. Okay, let's just try to pull this guy from here. Start with the big... Big attack. Okay, so this guy just summoned another mob. Another one. So why, why, what is happening? Like, I don't understand what it is. It's actually... I see, like, my character. I have four soul shards. Like, it looks like my character, like, changes color. I'm growing soul fragment. Okay, I don't really understand what is triggering them to summon more versions of themselves. Um, I'm still trying to figure that out, if it's something I can prevent or if it's just random. So okay, remember I need to touch the left side here, follow to where my corpse is, come to this tri-point, come to this tri-point, and then where this line intersects the, the ledge. Tri-point, tri-point, intersects the ledge. So what, what is this? Like, what's causing this? I, I need to like, honestly look this up on like Wowhead or something. This is actually a huge problem um, that I can't figure out the answer to. 
Do I need to get rid of all my soul fragments? My soul shards? Like, it seems like as soon as I enter that area... I'm just gonna die here, because I don't think I can really fight these guys again. They don't really do much damage. So... So what is happening? Is it when I generate a soul shard in that area? Okay. Sorry if it seems like something's really obvious that I should understand, but so it's not making sense to me yet. I don't see any debuff on me either. So let's go in here again. Am I hitting the trap? Is that what's happening? Am I... Am I is my... Um, like, did I walk into it? Maybe I did. I mean, my Felguard does, and that triggers it. Um, hold on, I, I got turned around. I want to see this one more time. I think I go right straight ahead, right? Yep, straight ahead. Three point, three point. And then he, straight to that ledge, okay. Three point. Three point. Did I hit the trap again? I, maybe I'm too close. I wonder if I'm just hitting it and it's a bit, a bit more... Not like a very tight or a very large hitbox or something. That's what it kind of feels like I walked into it somehow. Maybe that's what happened last time I was standing on I didn't realize it. Okay. So I, I could just be walking into it. Man, that's really scary if that's the case. Um, it's really tight. Wow. Okay. Uh, three point. Okay. Come on. Like, uh, th that's no way that I hit that, right? If that's really the case, then I don't know. I feel like that it's like glitched or something. But that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm hitting the trap, and I'm not sure. Maybe something else going on still, but I now I'm starting to think that I'm just hitting the trap. Um, oh man, the, is that really what I'm doing? Am I? I don't honestly understand what's going on because I. I might look this up because I. I think I must be hitting the trap, right? And maybe there's a different demon I can use to see it. Maybe I'm there's something else I'm supposed to be u using um, that would give me visibility. Like the Fell Hunter? Maybe the Fell Hunter, because the Fell Hunter can see invisible or something, right? So I wonder if that's what I need to do with summon the Fell Hunter? Um, is there any other skills I can think of? Let me look through. Because maybe that's what maybe I'm doing it the hard way by using the Eye of Kilrog. But man, I don't think I was that close to it. I'm not trying to complain here, I'm trying to understand what I'm doing wrong. And it 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 feels like I'm those things are spawning because I'm hitting walking into the trap, I think. But I don't think I'm actually walking into the trap. Unless my pets count, but I can't I don't know how to dismiss the imps, like I don't know how to turn off that talent. Um Yeah, I don't know how to turn this off. I don't think imps trigger stuff. They shouldn't. I mean, that'd be kind of lame, right? Um, my Felguard, or my, my pet could cause that. That's possible, but... Um, hmm. If I die again on this, I'm going to look it up and see what I'm doing wrong. I, I don't want to get in the mindset that it's only because I'm... Like, if your answer to a problem is the game is broken, like me thinking, oh, those traps are triggering way too wide, like the hitbox is too large, that usually gets you into a mindset where you're just focused on, like, oh, it's the game's fault, it's not my fault, I'm not messing up, the game is messing up. But most of the time, you're messing up, not the game. I wonder if there's a better route, like if I go left instead of right, and I'm like looking at this, I wonder if like this direction would be better. 
This appears to be a dead end. Like, I don't think I can sneak through. Oh, hey. But you can trigger that with the Eye of Kilrog. Interesting. Okay, so if I can trigger that with the Eye of Kilrog, then I'm sure I can trigger that with my pets, right? How, how am I possibly to get through there then if my pets trigger it? I don't know if they do, but it, it certainly seems like they're doing that. Um, because if that's the case, I'm like screwed. I can't, like look how many imps I have. I can't, I don't know how, I can't dismiss my imp. Um, okay. I'm 100% sure that I can walk here safely. So that might also be it. If I summon I have Kilrog into stuff, which is maybe what I was doing. Maybe I was standing like here and summon the Eye of Kilrog and it spawned right on that and triggered it. So I can run like a, sh a little bit to the left and then a straight line to my corpse. Like here, it should be fine. Right? Okay, we're good. I wanna make sure my Eye of Kilrog doesn't spawn on stuff. So I can go straight to my corpse. Go to this three-point thing and basically follow to the left of this line to this point. I'll probably trigger one here because it's kind of tight, but I should just run through and not stand here. Okay, straight to my corpse. A little bit through. And then run through. Okay. Now I'm pretty clear. I can go straight up until this ledge. Okay, safe. Summon another one. I know I, I don't know why I'm not using my uh, hotkey for this. I have Kill Rog. I'm mouse clicking it. Okay, I can cross the ledge and stay to the left of this crack and to the right of this curve and follow that all the way up to this line. Yeah, there's a little crack right here where my mouse is. I can basically walk straight along that crack. My imp is way too far. Okay, like, oh my gosh, imp, call me your stuff. I'm trying to back up a little so I don't trigger anything again. Okay, so I can go to this three point crack here, this big one, and then I can walk straight to this point here safely. Okay, I may just pull this guy from here. I'm a little scared to summon any demons right now, but I think I want to just kill this guy as fast as I can in case he, they do summon things. I don't actually know if they do. It's this Mist the Void Walker. Let's wait for the Fellstalkers. I don't think the Dreadstalkers, not Fellstalkers, Dread Dreadstalkers. I don't think those things will trigger, but I'm kind of concerned. And I'm like, I, I don't know. This is going much better this time so far. Okay, what I want to do, do I want to go straight? And then left. I definitely don't want to go this way. Do I want to go this way? This way seems kind of narrow. I think I want to go through this route here. And then... Okay, let's dismiss this. Let's reset this a bit. We can move up a little bit safely. Let's... Summon my eye back. So this is really tedious probably to watch, but... I'm doing everything I can to uh, not fail. So I want to get to this divot right here in the ground, this little divot. Okay, I really hope imps don't trigger it because I'm kind of hosed in this spot if so. Now I just want to run perfectly straight, aiming for this black patch here. Okay, I gotta keep moving because I don't want to stand in it. I think it was the biggest mistake I was doing was as soon as they would summon, I would just stand there and fight them there, which meant I was already triggering a spot and they were just going to keep summoning. And what I needed to do was not do that. Why isn't this guy dying? Okay. I can dismiss my Void Walker, which I'm, I think it's still not necessary. I'm being a little paranoid. And I can summon my Eye of Kilrog here. I don't think the guy behind me is going to aggro onto me. Ooh, this is really close. Okay. So I'm going to move up to this tri-point here, 
and move to this tri point, right? Tri point, tri point. I call them tri points. I don't want to go. I'm gonna like run through this hallway here, like straight through. So I'm gonna run to this tri point, hit this line straight on, and then I'm gonna go to this crack. Basically, I'm gonna go to this crack right here. This little tiny crack. It's not so bad if I keep in mind, is he going to aggro one of us? Yes, he is going to. Oh, wow. Okay, so he just, he's, I'm high enough level that I, it helps me out a little bit with the aggroing on these guys. Okay, I want to go to uh, this line here, but halfway between this line and that white space. Okay. I know I can like see for a second after I let go of this, so I should probably just do that. I just want to run straight through to the wall. Okay. Now I'm going to have to fight this guy because he's going to patrol back here. Let's go ahead and get our void walker out. I want to see this for just a second, see what we're looking at. Okay, I think we're pretty good. Let's kill this guy. All right. I'm not going to summon any demons here, I'm just going to slowly cast Demon Bolt on them, because that's it'll take care of them, and... I don't think these things actually summon any adds now. I think it was entirely because of my failed, um... Entirely because of my failed... Stand positioning. I think I was just standing too close to these things. So I can run safely to, like, this. Let's just move up. And dismiss Grimthick. Okay, I think I'm safe here. Now I want to run. Let's let's scope this out a bit more. Through here, this is very, 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 very narrow. Makes me kind of nervous. Okay, I just want to see the ceiling real quick. So. Because what I basically want to do is make like a quick run through this last part as best I can. And just like jump out the other side. Because this stuff's going to be a huge pain, I think. I want to soul stone myself. Hold on. I think this is a good decision here. Because if I die then I can res here, hopefully. Okay, I want to run straight to this try point. Let's do that. I moved a little bit to the right because my I have Kilrog is always summoned a little bit to my left. And I don't want to get summoned into this thing. So I want to move up to basically just this line straight ahead. And then maybe move up to this try point here. Oh no. Um, oh, come on. I hope, like, this is the hard part. <laughs> I don't think it is, but I hope this is the hard part. Okay, I'm okay. I didn't die. I was like, oh, I'm gonna die here. Whew, okay. Making me nervous though. It's like, oh man. Okay. Maybe my Voidwalker doesn't spot summon them. So I'm gonna run along this this straight line here. Come up to in between these two things hit this point, and run straight to that dark spot there. Come on, no. Oh, dang it. Maybe. That's so tough. It's so narrow. It just seems too narrow. 
I'm gonna try to soul stone here, but I think I'm still standing on. Yeah. I'm still aggroing him, unfortunately. I'm gonna die again. I, I, I recognize now I'm standing in the spot, but it's hard to tell when you're standing in it which direction you're hitting it from. This is tough. Like it's like one of the hard this is the hardest thing, honestly, I've ever done in WoW for me. Which is probably really sad it's not that difficult. Um Yeah. We uh I actually don't know if I'll have time to finish this today, unfortunately. Like even just getting through this part is taking me, you know, the full episode. But Whew, we'll see. Okay. So I I felt like I was doing better on it. I wish there was a way to like once I've gotten a certain point, it would just show them permanently, so I don't have to redo it each time. Um, a part of me is tempted to just, like... How does Demonic Portal work? Why am I not using this? Okay. Let me try something. Yeah. I, I had a feeling that might work. All right. I am not messing around with this crap anymore, folks. What am I doing trying to sneak through here? Um, all I need to do is, if I can use it in there, is set up a demonic portal on the other side of that stupid thing and portal myself through. I think that is a much simpler route to take. And it looks like it might work. Unless going through there summons things, but even if it does, if it summons, what, like three guys, I can kill three or four of them. I'm feeling good about this now. I'm sitting here like, how the how do people how do people possibly solve this puzzle with an aggro radius like that? I mean, it's actually not that bad, but it's sort of bad. So we're gonna try this. We're gonna see what we can do. Um, all I want need to do is get far enough up that I can portal to the other side of that last wall. Which, where I was last time, anywhere there probably would have worked, especially when I'm more on the right side over here. But... So what I want to do... First of all, let's try this with the Void Walker out. I did not mean to do that. Let's see this. I have Kill Rog. Let me just remind myself again. Okay. So... Hit the left wall, follow through, and just basically go straight to this point here. And then I can use my demonic portal to get to the other side of this wall very easily. So let's do that. We'll find out if Tang Moth triggers a thing here. Tang Moth, Grim Thick. Nope, looking good. Okay. Let's uh take another peek. So stand up this tri-point, this tri-point, and I want to throw my demonic portal where these... This line, like where these three meet, right? Yeah. Hold on, now of course it's hard to tell exactly. I think it's this tri-point. Let's try this. Okay, maybe I hit this one. That's okay. As long as it's the only one I hit. That's not okay. What am I hitting here? There's no way I'm close enough to that. Oh no, I am on it. I am on it. Okay, I am on it. I messed up. Okay. Okay, I think that the idea is there, though. The, the dream is alive. Um, let's skip ahead. I'm just going to start cutting at this point every time I die and just we'll just portal... I'll just, like teleport ourselves over there, uh, so that you guys don't have to see me running back every single time. So I messed it up. I missed. I should have just double checked. Just a little more cautious. Totally doable though. Okay, so we're back, and this is only like a minute or two run, but I think I can do this now without needing help. I'm an idiot. Apparently, I do need help. I was like, oh, I can do this without even looking at the I have kill rog. I've done this like enough times now, and I almost can. But I kind of overjudged it. It's pretty, it is pretty narrow. It really is a narrow route you have to get through these things. Okay. Let me just check the Eye of Kill Rock now. At this point, I'm just going to be safe. Okay. So I'm going to hit like there. Up to that track point. Okay. Got it. So I'm going to go here. Eye of Kill Rock again. 
I want to go more to the left of my skeleton. Maybe like here. I don't know where it drops me when I click through it. Do I land right on it? There we go. This makes this a million times easier, let me tell you. So now I want to place my my next one here. It's two minutes between, right? I could run through this. But I honestly... Should I just run through? It's really narrow there. And I'm worried I'll aggro this guy. But maybe I should just run through. If I just move a little bit to my left and then move straight to this try point. And then kind of aim for this dot and then over. A little on my left, aim for this try point, aim for this dot, and then over. Can't stop. Okay, that's good. I was like, I can't stop. I have to run through if I aggro something like that. I just have to go for it. Otherwise, I definitely will die. Because it's too hard to tell exactly which side I'm bumping too close to, usually. It, it does, like, give it a little flash effect, but it's still kind of hard to tell. Unfortunately, I really am. I'm gonna have to run out of time soon and head to my lab for the day for work, but I can at least, at least figure out this route really well, and then next episode come back, and I'll probably start the episode off with us, like, run right through. Okay, three seconds. I want to see where we are again. I think I need to move over this way more. So I want to go to this little crack right there. Yeah, this little crack right there. Right here. I can demonic portal on the other side of that. I think I'm just going to go for it. I don't know if that quite gets me all the way there, but I think it does. Let me soul stone. Because even if I die over there, I might be able to. Demonic gateway. I This might hit something, I'm not totally sure. Um. Wait, are there more of these down here? No. I don't really mind if I die, I'm just trying to get out of the way so I can soul stone. I wish I just let these things kill me. Here. Uh, hopefully I can soul stone safely. I'm away from the patrols. It's whether or not these things despawn or not. <laughs> That's a big if, possibly. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. That was a little clumsy, but functional. Which I can I can handle. Clumsy but functional is reasonable to me. So this is me from the future, and I decided while editing this video that it got really, really long. It's almost an hour and 30 or hour and 40 minutes, so I'm splitting it here, and next episode we'll pick up literally immediately after this moment, and you'll see how far I was able to get for this questline. So uh, sorry for the sudden interruption, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you next time.